All right, this is a, a chromatic scale that uh, it's pretty much when you're playing chromatic, it doesn't really stay in one position. It moves across the fretboard one fret at a time, just depending on if you're ascending or descending. So when I start up on the high E string. <laughs> considered a one position chromatic scale and uh, you're just moving a half step higher each time when you descend except for when you cross the B and G strings and uh, it's pretty cool stuff I mean you can get it burning with some alternate <laughs> you know, like that and uh, you can do some legato stuff with it if you like it's a little bit slower that's just picking one note per string Sometimes when I'm playing it quickly, I'll put like a pick harmonic on the first one. Which it didn't come out very well, but I think you got the idea. Um, and uh, something else you can do with it that's really cool to kind of break up the normal monotony um, associated with the chromatic scale is you can, you can branch out and do some tapping with it. And I like to use uh, my middle and ring finger on my right hand to do tapping uh, because it doesn't sound like the traditional, you know, just a old, you know, kind of tapping. It just, it sounds like a smooth uh, flowing roll or extended scale pattern. Um, and the, uh, one of the other reasons I like it is it doesn't really sound a lot like tapping. I mean, if you weren't watching me play it, you might not know that it was tapped. And uh, I do a pattern that starts like this with the right hand. Um, I hammer on with my right hand middle finger and then hammer on my ring finger. And then I descend back.